Hey everyone, hope you're well. It is Tuesday, March 31st. I wanted to check in with a quick update on where we're headed with ELA coming up pretty soon here as we have the expectation starting tomorrow of logging on and having a brand new lesson. I want to make this as easy as possible for all of you. I know there's a lot going on right now, not just uh, in the world, but also with trying to navigate virtual learning. So my goal is to make this as straightforward as I can. And with that in mind, well, Canvas, which I'm hoping all of you are becoming more familiar with, uh, will be your first stop every day. Most likely, if not every single time you log on to Canvas, you will be directed back to Google Classroom. Google Classroom is where I plan on housing all of our mini lessons, all of our assignments as far as like filling out a chart or doing a reflection. It is going to be in a place that we're all familiar, familiar with, and that's Google Classroom. Uh, I think that will just reduce some of the stress on all of us. And so even though you need to stop at Canvas every day for attendance purposes, to see the teaching point, to see the homework, uh, I will most likely, 90 to 100% of the time, be directing you in some way, shape, or form back to Classroom. We all know how to navigate that. We've used it all year. So that's one thing I just wanted to make very clear to everyone right now. Uh, our historical fiction letters, as you know, are due April 3rd. I will start grading them on the 4th. Uh, that is Friday uh, when they are due. The next three days, I expect all of you to come to Google Classroom and take a look at my slideshow for that day. It is going to be around revising those letters. There's three lessons, and I have an audio accompaniment to the lessons. So what I mean by that is if you open up Google Slides on, let's say, tomorrow, April 1st, paragraph. If you go to full screen and watch the slideshow, you're going to hear my voice along with it. I recorded audio to go with each slide, just as if I was standing in front of you uh, teaching that day in the classroom. So I will walk you through and talk you through with every aspect of those slides. If I sense that this is a good formula for teaching, I will continue doing that uh, even beyond just this week into next week and moving forward throughout the spring. Because again, we're all, we're all familiar with, with Google Slides, we're all familiar with Classroom. So please log on tomorrow, check out that lesson, do the same thing Thursday and Friday, and apply those to your letters. Also continue reading your independent book. We may be doing some work around that next week. Uh, so please have an independent book, any genre that you are reading. So the biggest thing here is, you know, for Canvas, just know that a lot of what we do is going to be directed back to classroom. I'm going to try to not overwhelm anyone with too much work because I know you're juggling a lot of different classes. You may have siblings that are at the high school or even the elementary school that also need to use a device. Uh, so just expect basically 45 minutes to maybe an hour of ELA work every single day. That includes independent reading time. Uh, that is the expectation that Mr. O'Connor outlined. I will try to keep it at that and, and not extend it any further than that. I also want to update you on my office hours. My office hours are two hours every single day starting tomorrow. We push that up to April 1st, so starting tomorrow that I will be in front of my computer willing to take any questions you may have. My office hours changed from the previous video. They are now going to be from 11 a.m. to noon and 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. There's also an hour in between. I will most likely be at my computer as well. So in on most days, there will be a three-hour chunk of time where you can ask me any question you may have. Maybe it's about the book you're reading. Maybe it's about navigating the technology. Maybe it's about, hey, is this theme work for my book? Uh, maybe it is just you want to uh, talk maybe about something that's going on right now with the class and you want to do something more face-to-face -face through like Google Hangouts. Whether it's email or face-to-face, -face, and whatever type of question you have, I will be available for that time. So starting tomorrow from 11 to noon and from 1 to 2, I will be in front of my computer to help you along the way. That's all I have for today. Hope everyone's still doing okay, uh, staying at home uh, and navigating these difficult times. Uh, please check in tomorrow for historical fiction revision lesson uh, and make sure that you are following through on the expectations from that slideshow, which you will see tomorrow. I appreciate everyone, and we'll talk soon.